than purple spots are called sha or malaria cutaneous bleeding in traditional Chinese medicine. The method, scrapping repeatedly on the surface of skin with the instrument for treatment of diseases, is called scrapping therapy. The scrapping therapy is a nation method for treatment of diseases in China, having a history of more than 2,000 years. In folk, people scrap repeatedly on uncomfortable parts of the body with porcelain fragments with smooth edge, bamboo plates, china spoon, bronze coin with water and white spirit used as lubricators. When malaria cutaneous bleeding appears, the disease will be cured and you will feel comfortable without taking any medicine. Because the therapy is simple, convenient and effective, it has been very popular among the people. The folk scrapping technique, in which scrapped regions are selected on basis of experience, lays a foundation for the late scrapping therapy. In recent years, meridian theories in traditional Chinese medicine are applied to scrapping therapy to guide the selection of acupoints, resulting in expanding indicators and raising therapeutic effect. In 1991, Professor Lu Ji Lu came to the mainland from Taiwan and gave lectures about scrapping therapy for dredging meridians and health care all over the country. Thus, more people received convenient therapy, gradually forming meridian scrapping therapy, which brings the scrapping therapy to a new stage. Zhang Xiuqin, a medical expert of the People's Liberation Army, has been interested in traditional Chinese medicine ever since she started her career. She was deeply attracted by the scrapping therapy and began to study and research with all her strength on this Asian therapy of traditional Chinese medicine. This is the place where Professor Zhang has often visited. Traditional medical culture of several thousand years is concentrated in the Asian books. Professor Zhang always thinks that the scrapping therapy is a composition of traditional Chinese medicine. It is abundant duty for a people's military surgeon to apply the scrapping therapy to better serve the mass population and to develop traditional Chinese medicine. In order to inherit and develop the scrapping therapy, Professor Zhang is assiduously studying basic theories of traditional Chinese medicine and goes to everywhere to learn from famous experts in traditional Chinese medicine. In her spare time, she often visits large hospitals to learn acupuncture, moxibustion, massage and auricular therapy, and to explore new methods of using acupoints and meridians for treatment of diseases. In order to probe into mysterious of the scrapping therapy, Professor Zhang studies theories of microcirculation. Through a practice of long time, she explains firstly scientific mechanisms of scrapping therapy, so as to lay a firm theoretical basis for the scrapping therapy. Microcirculation includes blood in vessels, tissue fluid outside vessels and lymph as well. Scrapping therapy can promote microcirculation, speeding up blood flow in the vessels, and accelerating the exchange of substances among blood, tissue fluid, and lymph. In the practice of scrapping therapy, Professor Zhang finds that, although the meridian scrapping therapy has a better therapeutic effect, the second treatment can only be applied when the malaria cutaneous bleeding disappears five to seven days after the first therapy. It cannot be continuously applied and the therapeutic effect will be influenced, and it is also inconvenient in winter. Therefore, she applies bioholographic theories to the scrapping therapy, scrapping alternately various holographic acupoint areas on the exposed parts of the body to treat diseases of various organs. The therapy is not limited by environment and seasons, and also patients can receive the therapy every day so as to increase greatly therapeutic effect. The scrapping plate with a specific shape is a national patent invention of Professor Zhang Xiuqin. Also, she creates many kinds kinds of scrapping manipulation methods, making scrapping therapy more convenient to apply and easy to learn. 
Through medical practice of long period, Professor Zhang created holographic meridian scrapping therapy in 1995, which is a comprehensive method of prevention and treatment of disease, combining diagnosis, treatment, prevention of diseases, and health care. Scrapping therapy is a composition of traditional Chinese medicine. It has a history of more than 2,000 years and goes through three stages, that is, from ancient plain scrapping therapy to wide application and constant increase in folk and the third generation of scrapping therapy with Professor Zhang Xiuqing as leader. It is convenient, simple and practical, and it has a good clinical effect. It will play an important role in preventing disease, treating disease, and health care for human race. It is worthy to be popularized. The holographic meridian scrapping therapy immediately received warm welcome. It is applied widely to treat common diseases. It gets instant results for headache, fever, cervical spondylopathy, scapular humeral periarthritis, lumbar crural pain, hyperplasia of mammary glands, and so on. It has obvious therapeutic effects on hypertension, heart disease, sequelae of apoplexy, asthma, diabetes, and gastrointestinal diseases. The method created by Professor Zhang opens a new way for non-pharmacotherapy. The holographic meridian scrapping therapy created by Professor Zhang is the fruit of continuous exploration of traditional Chinese medicine. Scrapping therapy appeared early in traditional Chinese medicine, but it was until the 17th century when it was recorded in a book titled Sha Zhang Yu Hen. And based on that, Professor Zhang combined various methods of scrapping therapies and developed them to a more complete extent at present. Holography and ancient diagnostic methods of traditional Chinese medicine are combined with scrapping therapy to elevate diagnostic and therapeutic theories of the scrapping therapy, and so as to establish a better theoretical basis for holographic meridian scrapping therapy. With the popularization of the holographic meridian scrapping therapy, the Asian therapy is appraised highly by the medical circle. Medical workers, especially Professor Zhang Xiuqing, created the present holographic meridian scrapping therapy through systematization, exploration, and raising them to a higher level. This therapy conforms with the basic theories of traditional Chinese medicine, and its main functions are dredging channels and collaterals, regulating qi and blood, resulting in treatment of many diseases, being convenient, non-traumatic, and easy to learn. Professor Zhang Xiuqing inherits ancient traditional scrapping methods and combines the ancient scrapping methods with modern sciences and techniques to open a new way for development of scrapping therapy. The book Holographic Meridian Scrapping Therapy was published in May 1999, which is the third revised edition since it was written by Professor Zhang Xiuqing and Professor Hao Wanshan in 1995. The new edition of Holographic Meridian Scrapping Therapy combines meridian theories in traditional Chinese medicine with basic theories of Western medicine and bioholographic theory with excellent in both pictures and language, explaining the profound in simple terms, being systematic, scientific, and practical. 
It is a medical monograph with great value. Wang Yongyan, the chief of Chinese Academy of Traditional Chinese Medicine, writes congratulations for the revised edition of holographic meridian scrapping therapy. In order to develop traditional Chinese medicine and raise health levels of people, the training base for holographic meridian scrapping therapy has been established in Beijing by School of Traditional Chinese Medicine, Institute of Basic Medical Theory of Chinese Academy of Traditional Chinese Medicine and Branch of Scrapping Therapy to Expel Toxins China Research Society of C9 Health Medicine. This space is praised as a big school with no wall. When you enter the school, you will be affected by the strong study air. Among the students, there are the retired aged with green at the temples, patients of chronic diseases, intelligentsia, common workers and peasants, and foreign friends coming from the five continents. Professor Zhang Xiuqing teaches them all her research achievements. She teaches not only the methods of self-treatment and self-prevention of diseases, and also trains large quantities of key members of scrapping therapy. Every year, thousands of students at home and abroad completed their studies and spread holographic meridian scrapping therapy all over the world. A lot of people consequently get rid of chronic diseases, and more people bring the healthy key to other people, friends, and the whole society. Because of her army career of more than 30 years, Professor Zhang Xiuqing finds it hard to part with the army, especially the soldiers of company. She has visited the root units for many times, teaching them techniques of scrapping therapy and treating their wounds and diseases. In Lanzhou, capital city of Gansu province, Professor Zhang Xiuqing gave free lectures for armed police forces. The soldiers studied with high enthusiasm. Professor Zhang becomes the most popular military surgeon. In residence centers of retired staff, she answers with patients relative questions from retired carters, treating while giving lectures, and she is praised as their close friend. She throws all her energy into her work for the state honorary guards. She is very gratified at that the scrapping therapy can relieve their strain of flambo dorsal muscles. From Beijing to all over China, everywhere Professor Zhang Xiuqing went, she was warmly welcomed. In Wuhu, she gave nine lectures, and a special hotline was opened on the local radio station to give live broadcast of her lectures. In Nanjing, patients and other people flocked in to ask for the instructions, unfolding a great upsurge of scrapping therapy. Nanjing television station made a special report on that. In a few years, Professor Zhang Xiuqing has traveled to more than 20 provinces and autonomous regions, making unremitting efforts for popularizing holographic meridian scrapping therapy. The therapy is welcomed by the workers, peasants, intelligentsia, carters, medical workers, and the retired aged, because it is scientific, practical, and simple. Professor Zhang Xiuqing presented the holographic meridian scrapping therapy summarized from her studies of many years at the 31st Conference of International Military Medicine in October 1996. With her life and detailed explanation and demonstration, a patient of acarnesis due to lumbago restored to normal immediately after the treatment. The audience burst into cheers, expressing their incomparable reverence for traditional Chinese medicine and high praise for Zhang Xiuqing and her holographic meridian scrapping therapy. In April 1999, the first World Conference of New Creation Medicine was held in Beijing. Professor Zhang Xiuqing presented a new way of non-pharmacal therapy, holographic meridian scrapping therapy, and won the approvals of the participants. In November 1997, Professor Zhang Xiuqing presented acupuncture and moxibustion with no needle, a new holographic meridian scrapping therapy at the academic conference of the 10th anniversary of World Federation of Acupuncture and Moxibustion Societies. 
In April 1998, Professor Zhang Xiuqing gave a series of 22 lectures about holographic meridian scrapping therapy on the Central People's Broadcasting Station, evoking warm acclamations of the audience. On December the 19th of 1998, China's Central Television Station televised a special documentary entitled Unique Skill in China to introduce holographic meridian scrapping therapy to audience at home and abroad, showing the treasure of traditional Chinese medicine. Due to her distinguished contribution to traditional Chinese medicine, Dr. Zhang Xiuqing is engaged as professor at various medical schools and holds the post of Vice Director of Branch of Scrapping Therapy to Expel Toxins and China Research Society of Sinal Healthcare Medicine. Holographic meridian scrapping therapy has unique effects of treating, diagnosing and preventing diseases, winning international recognition. It can increase one's immunity, prevent diseases, promote and keep health with inexpensiveness, the best medical and healthcare effects, and no side effects. Holographic meridian scrapping therapy is a treasure of traditional Chinese medicine. Nowadays, people give much attention to health, and the holographic meridian scrapping therapy will help people to stride into a simple, convenient, inexpensive, scientific, and effective new way of keeping fit. Section 1. Mechanism of Holographic Meridian Scrapping Therapy What is the scientific reason for that scrapping a local skin can cure disease of the whole body? Generally speaking, there is no difference between malaria cutaneous bleeding induced by scrapping the skin surface and subcutaneous stasis of blood due to tumbling, but the two things have completely different results. In truma, the blood shed is normal blood, with a large amount and bright red in color, and the stagnant blood retains in the space between tissues and cells, interfering blood circulation, pressing and stimulating the nerve, hence causing pain, even affecting local function. However, the malaria cutaneous bleeding is red and purple in color. It does not cause any pain. On the contrary, original pain disappears and the function restores immediately. Truma causes rupture of the blood vessel. Only when the ruptured blood vessel and the surrounding tissues heal and the stagnant blood in the surrounding is absorbed can it restore to normal state. But the stasis of blood induced by scrapping the skin surface, little of bleeding and no complete rupture of the blood vessel, similar to rubbing and pressing it. Sometimes pressing can enlarge the space between cells, leading to that blood stasis or red cells come out from the vessel. The wall of the vessel restores very soon to the original state and the bleeding stops immediately when the scrapping completes. Malaria cutaneous bleeding, the blood exuded from the vessel and contains harmful factors. At the attack of disease, metabolites accumulate in microengines to turn to harmful factors to interfere blood circulation and normal exchange of substances, inducing disturbance of permeability of the capillary wall. The pressure of scrapping the skin can enlarge the space between capillary wall cells in the scrapped part, resulting in exudation of the blood containing harmful factors. After the harmful factors are exuded, microcirculation improves, fresh blood carries nutrient and oxygen, and permeability of capillary restores to normal. The miliary cutaneous bleeding will immediately stop with the transient contract of capillary after scrapping the surface of skin. 
Miliary cutaneous bleeding in color, shape, number is related with the constitution and patient's condition. The more the harmful factors, the darker the bleeding in color and the larger the area of bleeding, vice versa. Scrapping on any part with no harmful factors cannot induce miliary cutaneous bleeding. The bleeding could disappear after five to seven days. The process of disappearance can increase immunological function of the organism and strengthening capability of anti-disease. Why can scrapping the skin surface cure diseases of internal organs? Traditional Chinese medicine holds that mechanisms of scrapping treating disease are closely related to meridians that include channels and collaterals. There are 12 regular channels connecting with five zhang organs and six fu organs in the human body. These are main pathways for circulation of qi and blood. There are more than 300 acupoints on the 12 regular channels and conception and governor vessels. These branches are called war collaterals, which connect with the skin surface, and the five zhang organs and six fu organs connect with limbs, five sense organs, and nine orifices as a whole. Meridian theory is intrinsic in traditional Chinese medicine, although the linear structures of meridians have not been found. In fact, they can exchange information, transport energy, and keep circulation of qi and blood. Traditional Chinese medicine holds that the meridians can nourish yin and yang, keep circulation of qi and blood, and cure diseases. They are related to life and death and can regulate deficiency and excess. The meridians link up the internal organs, the internal organs and surface of body, and the body surfaces. The skin parts are regions of functional activity of channels and collaterals in body surface. To be brief, the channels and collaterals are like a long river system, and the skin parts are like its drainage at the body surface. The skin parts of 12 regular meridians, governor vessel and conception vessel, distribute in the body surface. In the process of scrapping and point pressure skin, external force act directly on the skin parts of meridians, opening sweat pore, dilating capillary, accelerating blood circulation and lymph, promoting excretion of metabolites, so as to activate blood circulation to remove blood stasis and improve microcirculation. Scrapping the skin can stimulate nerve endings, strengthening conduction function of nerve cells so as to improve and strengthen functions of internal organs. According to the meridian theory, benign changes of local skin can regulate corresponding organs via meridians. On the basis of meridian scrapping therapy, biological holographic theory is enrolled, forming new holographic meridian scrapping therapy. What is the word holography? Holography is whole information. In traditional Chinese medicine, pulse feeling and observation of tongue coating can help to diagnose disease, suggesting that the tongue and the artery in the wrist can reflect signs of some diseases. But some relatively independent parts in the human body can also reflect the information of the body, such as the trunk, head, ears, heads, feet, or some smaller local organs, which are called holographic embryo of all information. The corresponding area to an internal organ in the holographic embryo is called holographic acupoint area of the organ. Scrapping these holographic acupoints can diagnose and treat diseases of the body. How do the holographic acupoint areas distribute? This is commonly seen holographic acupoint area of the ear. It looks like a human shape upside down. There are holographic acupoint areas of various internal organs in the palm, and the back of the hand is an abdomen of vertebrae. This is acupoint area distribution atlas of internal organs on the foot, showing the acupoint areas of the head, five sense organs, and internal organs. The arc of foot is corresponding area of vertebrae. 
The forehead from the middle part to bilaterals corresponds respectively to the head, thoracical cavity, upper abdomen, and urogenital system. Lateral sides of the head are two human shapes with the head downwards. From the lower to the upper, it corresponds to the lateral of head, upper limbs, lumbosacral, and lower limbs respectively. The vertex region of head is like a human shape of supine position, corresponding to the all internal organs. Posterior region of the head is an epitom of human back. The upper corresponds to the neck and shoulder, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. This is holographic acupoint area of eyes on the upper occipital bone, and this, the cerebellum on the lower occipital bone, which can treat diseases of the cerebellum and disturbance of the motor of hands and feet. The second metacarpal bone of the hand corresponds to human shape standing up. From the upper to the lower, it represents in order holographic acupoint areas of the head and neck, heart and lungs, liver, stomach, lower abdomen, and lower limbs. Corresponding area of vertebrae on the back is the largest holographic embryo areas in the human body. Scrapping the cervical and lumbosacral vertebrae can treat diseases of the four extremities. Scrapping the cervical vertebrae can treat diseases of head, five sense organs, neck and shoulder. Scrapping the thoracic vertebrae can treat diseases of the internal organs, and scrapping lumbar and sacral vertebrae can treat diseases of the large and small intestines, kidney, and urogenital system. The internal organs have corresponding projection areas on body surface. The holographic acupoint area of the head is determined by functions of cerebral cortex. The anterior region of the neck is projection area of thyroid on body surface. The chest and back regions are projection areas of the lung and heart on the body surface. Both chest and coastal regions are those of liver, spleen, and pancreas. Umbilical and abdominal regions are that of the large and small intestines. Scrapping these projection areas can prevent and treat directly the disease of their corresponding internal organs. Professor Hao Wan Shan in Beijing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine and Pharmacy put forward the concept of meridian tree, which can help to understand the relations between the holographic acupoint areas and internal organs and meridians. Meridians are regarded as a big tree. The internal organs are its roots. The channel is its trunk. The laterals are its branches. The leaves of the tree are many reflective parts of internal organs on body surface, which are called holographic acupoint areas. Any disease of the tree should involve the whole meridian tree, so sensitive points Tenderness would appear in the trunk. Color change, pressure pain, prominence or excavation occur on the leaves. Both scrapping the holographic acupoint areas to activate the leaves and scrapping meridians to dredge in the branches can treat pathological changes of the roots. Scrapping different parts can promote regulative function of all meridians. Balance yin and yang, qi and blood, activate immunological system and strengthen capability of anti-disease. Holographic meridian scrapping therapy is not only used for treatment of causes and position of disease, and also it can play the role of preventing and treating diseases without affecting normal physiological function of the human body via stimulating local holographic acupoint areas of particular organs on the body surface and acupoints to activate channel qi, regulate meridians, and strengthen the capability of anti-disease. Therefore, holographic meridian scrapping therapy is a non-pharmacotherapy with no side effects. According to the theory of holographic meridian scrapping therapy, acupoints of many areas can be selected to treat pathological changes of some parts of organs. As compared with the old scrapping therapy, the holographic meridian scrapping therapy is more flexible in acupoint selection. 
For example, scrapping related meridians on the back, abdomen and the upper and lower limbs or projection region of stomach on body surface, corresponding area of stomach on vertebrae or holographic acupoint areas of stomach on the head, ear and extremities can be used for treatment of gastric diseases. Generally speaking, the second scrapping therapy can be followed only after the first malaria cutaneous bleeding disappears. However, for the holographic meridian scrapping therapy, the holographic areas of various local organs in the body can be selected alternately for treatment. Also, right areas can be selected for treatment of diseases on the left side, the lower areas for the upper and the back areas for the anterior, so it can be used for consecutive treatment. Because of the holographic acupoint areas are located at the exposed parts of the human body, one can apply the therapy while watching television, reading or chatting. Section 2. Materials and Methods of Holographic Meridian Scrapping Therapy Instruments of holographic meridian scrapping therapy include scrapping plate and lubricators. These are buffalo horn scrapping plates, having the functions of promoting the flow of qi, activating blood circulation to remove blood stasis, clearing away pathogenic heat, and removing toxic substances. This is a scrapping plate made of jade. It can nourish brain to calm the mind, nourish in and remove pathogenic heat, strengthening the body and eliminating diseases. Professor Zhang Xiuqing has designed specially this scrapping plate with a concave part. The two corners of the scrapping plate can be applied to holographic acupoints of the head and surrounding acupoints of the eye and concave part of the body. The concave part of the plate is suitable for scrapping EXP acupoints and acupoints on fingers. This is a scrapping comb made of buffalo horn. This age can be applied for scrapping therapy and the age for scrapping and pressing and dredging the meridians and acupoints on the head. It is better to apply the same plate or comb to the same patient at every treatment session. They should be cleaned with water or alcohol for disinfection and be stored in a special leather bag after drying. Lubricators used in scrapping therapy are made from Chinese drugs and vegetable oil, with advantages of strong permeability and good lubricity. They can relieve inflammation and pain and protect the skin and prevent infection. Scrapping therapy has specific techniques and manipulation methods. You should watch carefully to learn them in order to get a good result. The correct method for holding the plate is that grasp the plate with the palm on the bottom of the plate and the fingers on the sides. The posture of patients should be comfortable for them, with relaxation of muscles. Before scrapping, lubricators should be smeared and scrapped from the upper to the lower and from the middle part to the lateral sides. Do not scrap to and fro. The scrapped skin areas about 1 inch in widest and 4 to 5 inches in length with the acupoint as the center. The widest corresponds to the skin part of channels selected. Actually, the selected acupoints are covered because the meridians are located at a certain depth. Only when the action reaches the deep tissues can its therapeutic function be brought into full play. The force should at least reach the subcutaneous tissues or muscles and preferable to internal organs or the bones. Different constitutions and different conditions of disease need different degrees of pressure. Light pressure and slow speed, that is, reinforcing manipulation, should be applied to the aged or weak sufferers with chronic or serious diseases. And reducting manipulation, characterized by heavy pressure and fast speed, is often applied to young sufferers with strong bodies and acute diseases. Moderate pressure and moderate speed, called even reinforcing and reducting manipulation, is applied to normal people for health care or treatment of the patient with both deficient and excessive syndromes. However, reinforcing manipulation should usually be used at the beginning, then the pressing force is gradually increased. The reinforcing manipulation can also be used at the end of treatment. 
Seven kinds of scrapping manipulations are introduced in the following. Board scrapping. The plate should be in contact with the skin at an angle of 45 degrees, scrapping in the same direction for many times. The manipulation is suitable for the even parts of the body. Corner scrapping. The points are scrapped from the upper to the lower, with the corner of the plate at an angle of 45 degrees to the skin. It is often applied at SI9 in the shoulder and LI1 and LI2 in the chest. Spot pressing. Points are pressed downwards at an angle of 90 degrees between the corner of the plate and the point. Increase pressure gradually and release suddenly. Repeat several times. It is suitable for soft tissues without bone protrusion or sunken parts such as GV26 and EXLE points. Tapping. Scrapping lubricator must be used before tapping. The elbow joint of patients is supported by one hand and the five fingers of another hand holds together and the palm curves to tape meridians and points on the body surface. This is usually applied to the four limbs, especially in the foresear of the elbow and knee. The trunk and neck are forbidden to scrap. This method can be used to treat pain or numbness in the limbs and disorders of the heart and lungs. Kneading. Points are kneaded gently with a circular movement at an angle of 20 degrees between the plate edge and the point. The plate should be in contact with the skin all the time to conduct the force into the subcutaneous tissue or muscles. This is often applied at tonic points for internal organs such as LI4, ST36 and PC6, and pain-sensitive points on the holographic acupoints of the second metacarpal bone and hands and feet and the corresponding areas of vertebrae. Rigorous scrapping. This involves rubbing back and forth or left and right for short distances applying heavy pressure and with the edge of the plate at right angles to the skin, and the plate should be in contact with the skin all the time. This manipulation is a suitable maneuver for the holographic acupoints on the head. Meridian dredging scrapping. The meridian is scrapped with the long edge of the scrapping plate along its direction with gentle and even force, from the lower to the upper or from the upper to the lower. Generally, scrap from the elbow joint or knee joint to the finger or toe tips respectively. It is commonly applied to the end of the therapeutic scrapping or as a healthcare scrapping maneuver to regulate meridians, relax muscles and relieve fatigue. Points for attention. Avoid wind and keep warm during therapeutic scrapping for preventing pathogenic wind and cold attacking the interior of the body. To treat only one disease at a time and limit the scrapping time to no more than 30 minutes. If more acupoints are selected, they should be scrapped in groups at different times. Reduction manipulation are forbidden for the patient with weak constitution and do not scrap a patient who has an empty stomach and overtidiness. During scrapping treatment, the appearance of malaria cutaneous bleeding should not be overemphasized because it is influenced by various factors. Clinically, the appearance of malaria cutaneous bleeding is not completely in direct ratio to the therapeutic effect. Drink a cup of warm water after scrapping can accelerate excretion of metabolites and it is advisable to take a bath three hours after scrapping. Do not scrap directly to the skin with lesions caused by acute inflammation with exudations and ulcers. Reinforcing manipulation should be applied to the patients with edema and varicose vein of the lower limbs, scrapping from the distal to the proximal end. Explain scrapping therapy to a new patient clearly for eliminating patient's worries. Scrapping therapy is forbidden or be used with great care for the following conditions. Hemorrhagic tendency such as thrombocytopenia, leukemia, allergic purpura, and so on. And it is forbidden for the patients of serious hemorrhagic tendency. Scrapping therapy. 
二 ，scrapping is not suitable for the new fracture parts until they are healed. Scrapping is forbidden for parts of the mass of unknown cause or malignant cancer, and for the patient after operation, scrapping may be applied carefully to the local part of the scar. Scrapping should be carefully applied to the lower abdomen of women during menstruation and pregnancy. Section three: Healthcare scrapping therapy. Holographic meridian scrapping therapy can not only treat diseases but also be adopted for diagnosis of diseases and healthcare. As we know, no symptoms does not mean health. There is a very long period from quantitative change to qualitative change between health and disease. In the period, people may not have any symptom or only have some non-typical symptoms. This period is called sub-health period or latent period of disease. At this time, generally, the disease cannot be diagnosed by medical, physical, or chemical methods. However, if you apply homographic meridian scrapping therapy to the skin, malaria cutaneous bleeding, pain on nodes will appear on some scrapped parts. The more the bleeding, the darker the color, and the more serious the pain, more serious the potential disease is. Commonly, scrapping for observing change of malaria cutaneous bleeding may assess the development tendency of the disease. This is beneficial to its treatment in time. The following. Six procedures are for healthcare scrapping. Scrapping the whole head once or twice daily. Meridians in the head connect with internal organs, and it is the part with the most meridians and acupoints. The central nervous system is located in the head, and it has projection areas of nervous centers of the whole body. Scrapping the head each day can dredge channels, strengthen functions of the central nervous system, and regulate functions of the internal organs, and relieve fatigue, prevent and treat cerebrovascular diseases and disorders of cranial nerves, strengthen memory and capability of anti-disease delay agent. Lateral sides of the head. Scrapping is applied to bilateral EXHN from anterior upper to posterior lower. Lubricator is not needed for therapeutic scrapping or healthcare scrapping on the head, because skin part of the head is covered with hair. The pressure should be more strong for attaining a good result. It is better to scrap with scrapping comb, and the same part is scrapped for many times until heat sense is elicited. Vertex of the head. Scrap from GV20 to the front hairline from left to right. Back of the head, scrap from GV20 to the back head line, from the upper to the lower, and from left to right. Scrapping is more applied to bilateral GV20, ST8, and GV20 points. Scrap holographic acupoint of the head with rigorous scrapping. Middle region of forehead corresponds to the head. A lateral treat is divided into three parts corresponding to various internal organs. Vertex region of forehead from GV24 to GV20, scrapping from anterior to posterior. The vertex region responds to the organs in the whole body. Region of vertex and occiput. From GV20 to GV17, the region corresponds to the posterior of the head, vertebrae, and visual area. Lower lateral regions of occiput, from BL9 to BL10, the region corresponds to the cerebellum. Anterior oblique region of vertex temporal, from GV21 to GV6. Posterior oblique region of vertex temporal, from GV20 to TE20. Both regions correspond to the lower limbs, lumbar sacral portion, upper limbs, and lateral sides of the head, from upper to lower, respectively. Shoulder and neck scrap from upper to lower, from medial side to lateral side. Scrapping the twelve regular meridians below the elbow or knee joints once or twice every day. 
The meridians in the four limbs connect directly to various internal organs, so commonly scrapping these meridians can gradually dredge channels and collaterals, promote circulation of qi and blood, strengthen functions of the connected organs, prevent and treat pathological changes of the organs, and relax muscles, and relieve fatigue. Medial side of the upper limb, scrapped from the elbow joint to the tip of the thumb with the method of regulating channel qi. The region is skin part of the lung meridian. Scrapped from the joint to the tip of the middle finger. The region is skin part of the pericardium meridian. Scrapped from the joint to the tip of the little finger, which is skin part of heart meridian. Radial side of the upper limb. The region from elbow joint to the tip of the index finger is the skin part of large intestine. The region from the joint to the tip of the fourth finger is the skin part of the Sanjiang meridian. The region from the joint to the tip of the fifth finger is the skin part of the small intestine. Medial side of the lower limb. The region from the upper of the knee joint to the tip of the great toe is the skin part of the spleen meridian. The middle part of the medial side of the lower limb is the skin part of the liver meridian. The region from back side of the lower limb to KI1 is the skin part of the kidney meridian. Lateral side of the lower limb, the anterior is the skin part of the stomach meridian, the middle is the skin part of the gallbladder meridian, and the posterior is the skin part of the urinary meridian. Scrapping the meridians on the chest and abdomen and the projection areas of the internal organs on the body surface once or twice daily. The anterior middle of the chest. Scrap from the upper to lower with the corner of the scrapping plate. Scrap the ribs of both sides along the rib bones from the middle to the laterals. The chest is the projection area of the heart, lungs and trachea. Scrapping the chest can strengthen functions of the heart and lung. Abdomen, scrap from upper to lower. Abdomen is the projection area of the stomach, large and small intestines and urogenital system, where the conception vessel and meridians of stomach, liver, gallbladder, spleen and kidney go through. Scrapping can stimulate meridians to regulate directly the internal organs, strengthening their functions, preventing and treating their diseases. Scrapping the lumbar region has the function of tonifying the kidney and strengthening the lumbar vertebrae. Scrapping six tonic points once or twice every day. Spot pressing GV26 has functions of tonifying the kidney and promoting mental activity. Scrapping GV20 can reinforce deficiency and treat clinical diseases. Rubbing and scrapping LI4 can prevent and treat diseases of the large intestine meridian and head and face. Scrapping and rubbing PC6 can clear away the heart fire and tranquilizing and strengthening the functions of the heart. Scrapping and rubbing ST36 can strengthen the spleen and stomach and reinforce resistance of the body. Scrapping and rubbing KI1 can nourish in, remove pathogenic fire and tonify the kidney. Scrapping the ear, hand and foot once or twice every day. Press and rub the air hole with the corner of the scrapping plate first, then the helix and back of the air. Scrap the dorsum and palm of both hands from the wrist to the fingertips. Scrap the palm forcefully and dorsum gently as its skin is thin, and lubricators should be applied when scrapping is given for many times. Scrap the five fingers respectively with the concave of scrapping plate. Scrap the whole foot with heavy pressure. More pressing and rubbing should be applied at the pain points. Scrap forcefully the medial arc of the foot from the root of the great toe to heel. Scrapping the root of the great toes has functions of health care for cervical vertebrae, and scrapping the arc of foot is beneficial to lumbar vertebrae. Scrapping the ankle joint has function of health care for reproductive system. Scrapping regularly the related points and the corresponding area of vertebrae on the neck, shoulder, back and lumbar region. 
The vertebrae is the largest holographic embryo in the human body, and the nerves from the spinal cord innervate the whole body. The governor vessel controls all young meridians in whole body. The acupoints of the gallbladder meridian on the back are related with the five zhang organs and six fu organs. Scrapping these parts can strengthen the functions of the internal organs. Scrap the back of the neck and the governor vessel with lubricator first, and then scrap from GB20 to GB21. On the back, scrap from GV14 to GV1, and from BL11 to BL30 on both sides respectively. At last, scrap bilateral EXB points from GV14 to GV3. Healthcare scrapping has three functions of healthcare, diagnosis and treatment at the same time. Occurrence of pain or node on a meridian or a local part during scrapping indicates that qi and blood are stagnated to varying degrees in the part. When malaria subcutaneous bleeding is elicited by continuous scrapping, therapeutic effects will be obtained. According to the position, color, and shape of the malaria subcutaneous bleeding, we can judge functional state of various internal organs. For example, the bleeding on the medial side of the elbow joint indicates anoxia of the heart meridian. Occurrence of node on the lumbar sacral position suggests stagnation of the meridians in the position for a long time. Daily healthcare scrapping can strengthen capability of anti-diseases in the organism, remove hidden dangers of disease, and consolidate therapeutic effect and prevent relapse. In addition, holographic meridian scrapping for beautifying the face. Lustrous and bright face is the hot pursuit of women since ancient times. Among the great diversity of cosmetic methods, holographic meridian scrapping for beautifying the face and body has its peculiar characteristics. Sometimes unexpected therapeutic effects on facial disorder can be obtained. Over a long period of time, people use various kinds of cosmetics and drugs for the sake of facial beauty. However, most of these methods are locally applied for cleaning the facial skin. In fact, clean skin is originated from clean internal environment. The effects of cosmetic scrapping are obtained by scrapping facial meridian points and holographic point areas to dredge the qi and blood, improve the microcirculation, get rid of toxins and other metabolites in the deep layer of skin, dredge the cell nutrient supplying passages so as to beautify the face. There are totally nine meridians traveling through the face which also constitute a miniature of the whole body and have the holographic point areas of viscera. Scrapping the face can improve the microcirculation of muscles and skin, promote metabolism, strengthen the secretion function, and the cleaning process of the surface of skin. In the process of scrapping, according to the relationships of meridian, viscera, superficial, and interior of yin and yang, the pathological locations can be defined. Then, based on these locations, scrap the corresponding meridian points and the holographic point areas on the body and limbs. After treatment, the facial skin will be plump with good elasticity and moisture and delay the aging. It is also beneficial to the health of the whole body. Scrapping tools. This is a cosmetic scrapping plate. The shorter arc edge is suitable for scrapping the forehead region. The longer arc edge is suitable for scrapping the chin region. The concave edge between the two corners is suitable for scrapping the lower jaw region. The corners can be used in kneading of facial meridian points and holographic point areas. The straight longer edge is suitable for scrapping the flat region of the body. This is cosmetic scrapping grease. It has the effects on moisturizing and protecting the skin, preventing inflammation and promoting blood circulation and remove blood stasis. 
scrapping methods. At the beginning of each facial scrapping, reinforcement manipulation is suitable. For sensitive skin or daily face care without skin disorders, reinforcement manipulation should be used in the whole process. The even reinforcement and even reduction manipulation method is suitable for the treatment of dry skin and skin with various pigmented spots. In plum muscles, areas with pigmented spots and pain spots usually apply the even reinforcement and even reduction manipulation method. By using the edge of scrapping plate, scrap the face from inside toward outside along the muscle or bone formations in one direction. The pressure of scrapping should be even and steady, slow and gentle, until the appearance of mild feverish feeling or reddish of skin. Indications Beautifying the face, abating the black circle surrounding the eye and socket of eye, decreasing the wrinkles, moisturizing the skin and anti-aging, treatment of cutaneous disorders affecting the beauty of face. Points for attention. Before cosmetic scrapping, scrapping grease should be evenly applied on the skin or face. During the facial scrapping, the pressure should be gradually increased with slow and gentle manipulation. Facial scrapping should not be applied in the treatment of acne. After the facial scrapping, it is advisable to stay half an hour before taking outdoor activities and comply with other common attention points of scrapping therapy. Beautifying the face. Scrapping the facial skin, stipulating the meridian points and holographic point areas can dredge the facial meridian, promote the blood circulation and remove blood stasis, improve the metabolism of skin cells, and enhance the secretion function of endocrine. Thus, the skin and muscle can obtain enough oxygen and the complement of various nutrients. It can also activate the cells, clean the skin, enhance the regeneration ability, delay the aging, moisturizing the skin, and decrease the wrinkles. After washing the face with clean water, smear evenly the facial scrapping grease on the face. The first treatment, reinforcement manipulation is applied. Each area scrap five times. Forehead region, scrap with a shorter arc of jade scrapping plate from middle toward both sides. Need a tie yang point. Surrounding of the eyes, scrap from Qing Ming along the upper edge of orbit toward Tong Zi Liao. Again, scrap from Jing Ming along the lower edge of the orbit toward Tong Zi Liao. Need the Tong Zi Liao and Tai Yang points. Qin region. Need Yin Xiang. Scrap from Yin Xiang on the large intestine meridian toward the anterior area of each ear. Need Xia Guan point. Mouth and lips. Need Ren Zhong. Scrap from Ren Zhong of Du Mai to Di Cang of stomach meridian on both sides. Need Di Cang. Need Cheng Jiang. Scrap from Cheng Jiang toward Di Cang and Jia Che on both sides. Need Di Cang point. Scrap with the concave edge of the scrapping plate from Da Ying obliquely ascending to Jia Che and the area below each ear. Need Jia Che point. Scrap with the straight edge of scrapping plate from middle of the forehead downward to the tip of nose. Using the concave edge of scrapping plate, scrap both sides of nose. The manipulation pressure should be properly decreased in the area between the eyebrow and the bridge of nose until there is a slightly reddish. Avoid the appearance of any miliary cutaneous bleeding. The second treatment, scrap using the even reinforcement and even reduction manipulation. The scrapping sequence is the same as above in the first treatment, 
but with heavier pressure reaching the deep tissues. During the scraping process, try to find out positive reactions. There is a smaller nodule near her eyebrow on the forehead with mild pain sense. Another nodule is noted in the inner area of her right lower eyelid. These nodules appear in the holographic point area of stomach meridian, large and small intestinal meridian, suggesting that the function of the gastrointestinal system is mild attenuated. The location and degree of positive reactions reflect the location and degree of diseases. There is a small nodule in the outer area of the lips along the large intestinal meridian and also a small nodule in the lower jaw area of the stomach meridian. The third treatment. Emphatically, scrap and meet the positive reaction areas. Scrap the right side of forehead. There are rough feelings and slight reddish of skin under the scrapping plate. Scrap slowly the nodule in the area of the right eyebrow. Scrap and knead simultaneously. The small nodules become smaller and even disappear, showing the meridian passage gets through. There are a few small nodules in the inner area of the lower eyelid, which must be stressed, scrapped, and kneaded. Scrap and knead the outer area of the upper lip along the large intestinal meridian. Scrap the nodule areas on both sides of the lower jaw, which have slight pain sensation. The feeling is more significant on the left side, so it should be emphatically scrapped. Need the points Tai Yang, Yun Tang, Yun Xiang, Cheng Qi, Si Bai, Chuo Liao, Da Yun, Jia Che, Xiao Chang, Da Chang. Shen and Pang Guang. The fourth treatment. Using the flat surface of jade plate, evenly and slowly massage the whole face and the lower jaw in order, relaxing and exercising the muscles, dredge the meridian passage. Scrap the inner area with jade plate. Scrap the holographic point areas of the viscera on head with buffalo horn plate or jade plate. Using buffalo horn scrapping comb, scrap from the anterior area to the posterior area, dredge the meridians on the head. First, scrap Du Mai on the back from Da Zhui to Ming Men. After smear scrapping grease, scrap segmentally from upper to lower. Using the two corners of scrapping plate, scrap the points on both sides of the vertebrate. It has the effect of regulating the endocrine function. Scrapping can be done until the appearance of reddish of skin and opening of sweat pores. Using half of the longer edge of the scrapping plate, scrap each side of the bladder meridian at the same level. Emphatically scrap the Pi Shu and Wei Shu on the bladder meridian, where small nodules and pain points are found. These results further confirm the accuracy of phase diagnosis. Scrap the bladder meridian on the other side. Finally, clean up the scrapping grease and knead simultaneously to close the sweat pores. Acne. Acne is usually seen in young persons. Scrapping should not be applied to acne on face. First, scrap the region 1 and region 2 on the lateral side of forehead. Scrap Du Mai on the back from Da Zhui to Ming Men segmentally. Carefully find out the pain points and nodules in the Ming Men area. 
Using the two corners of the plate, scrap the point area along both sides of the vertebra. This is the corresponding area of the vertebra and the viscera. Scrapping this area can regulate the viscera and improve the endocrine. The key regions are the corresponding vertebral areas of heart and lung. Scrap Fei Shu, Gan Shu, and Pi Shu of bladder meridian from Da Chang Shu to Xiao Chang Shu. After scrapping, cupping the Da Zhui can accelerate clearing away heat and toxic materials, get rid of the poxies, and dredge the meridians on the back. Remove the cup 10 minutes later. Scrap Chu Chu on the forearms. Scrap and knead He Gu. Scrap Zhu San Li on the legs. Chloresma. According to traditional Chinese medicine, chloresma is related to liver, spleen, and kidney. It can be divided into three types. Depression of liver and stagnation of qi, deficiency of spleen, and deficiency of kidney. In the treatment of chloresma, first, scrap the face as the above manipulation and procedure of beautifying the face. Smear the scrapping grease. In the first treatment, use reinforcement manipulation. Relax the muscles of face. Scrap the forehead, meridian points surrounding the eyes, lower eyelids and chins. The chloresma on the right side is more obvious, suggesting the qi and blood of the right meridian is stagnated. Scrap the surrounding region of mouth and lips. Need di cang, xia he, jia che, and da ying. Scrap from the forehead to the tip of nose and both sides of the nose bridge. In the second treatment, scrap with even enforcement and even reduction manipulations. Find out the positive reaction areas on the right side of the forehead. Scrapping is unsmooth with a rough feeling. On the external corner of the eye and the tip of eyebrow, there is significant pain feeling. In general, pain sensation or nodules usually appear under or near the chloresma. Pain spots and lots of small nodules are found at the right Sibai and Changqi, scrap from Yin Xiang to Xia Guan along the chin. In the patients with chin chloresma, obvious pain spots or nodules are noted near Quan Liao. Scrapping the upper lip, there is also rough sensation. Scrapping the lower lip and the stomach meridian in lower jaw region, there are small nodules. Pain spots are found in the holographic pain area of liver and gallbladder on the middle part of the nose bridge. Person's face with chloresma usually has pain spots in the area. Emphatically scrap and knead the areas with pain spots, nodules, and pigmented spots. Knead the pain area forehead. Scrap the knead tone liao point at the external corner of the eye. Find out the pain spots and nodules under the pigmented spots and emphatically scrap. Scrap the nodules in Sibai and Changxi areas of lower eyelid. After scrapping, the nodules in the upper lip area are no longer significant. Scrap the lower jaw region. Need Yin Tang, Changxi, Sibai, Quan Liao. Xia Guan, Shen Qu, Tai Yang, Yin Xiang, Di Cang, and Cheng Jiang. Massage the face. Scrap the air region. Scrap the middle region of forehead, region 3, lateral to forehead, the kidney area, and the region of vertex of forehead. The appearance of chloresma on both lateral side of zygomatic bone probably is related to the athenia of liver and kidney, deficiency of qi, and stasis of blood. So it should disperse the depressed liver, invigorate the spleen, and tonifying the kidney. Therefore, scrap gan shu and pi shu on the back. Small nodule is found at gan shu.
Few pigmented spots are found at Pinshu point. Scrap the corresponding vertebral area of kidney. First, scrap Du Mai, Ming Men is the stress point. Scrap the point area along both sides of the vertebra and the same level region of bladder meridian. Shen Shu is the stress point. Scrap the abdominal region from Qi Hai to Guan Yuan, Zhong Shu to Qi Xue. Scrap the upper arm, Nei Guan, Shen Men, and Xu Hai of lower neck. In order to abate the pain sensation, cupping can be applied on these points. Scrap Zhu San Li, Sanyin Jiao, and Tai Xi. Scrapping for beautifying the face can be conducted once a day. The facial skin will be moisturized and lustered, and smoothen the wrinkles. Holographic meridian cosmetic scrapping is developed from traditional Chinese medicine. Scrapping therapy has its advantages of both diagnosis and treatment, without side effects and easy to manipulate. It is a new medical cosmetic method with good prospects.